if I came to terms that when I do start playing DC again, I'm deleting that one character I showed you, the one that I first originally got to level 30, Green Lantern. I'm gonna delete them and remake a Green Lantern because it's, it was just way too much work to try and get him armor and shit again. Like, there was no way in hell I was gonna get him armor. I mean, I could try and do it with a new character that I have that I haven't played with yet, and then throw their shit into the share box and take it out on my lantern account. Other than that, I don't know what would work. Because he does zero damage. He's a level 30, which is sad. Because the armor that I have. That's the first character I ever, ever made in DC. And it was good up until my cousin fucking gave me wrong information and told me to buy that PvE gear or PvP, some shit like that. Glad you listen. Because I thought he knew what he was talking about because he played it for like a year before I even played it. And then I bought it all and he's like, why aren't you doing any damage? And he's like, what kind of gear you got on? I told him. He's like, Oh, that's why you brought the wrong gear. I was like, you fucking scumbag. You told me to waste all these renowned on this gear. Yeah, yeah. This is how you get your level 30 past level 30. It was all like, well, I didn't think it was that exact gear to get in. You're an idiot. You just so fucked he, up my whole character. Basically trolled you. No, he didn't troll me. His stupidity just rubbed off on me. And that's why I don't play DC with him anymore, because he thinks he knows what he's talking about, and he don't. Wow. Uh, just like all of a sudden you're an uh, expert huntsman now? I am an expert huntsman. Well, not uh, an expert, but I would say professional, not expert. Sure. I am professional. Sure. I could kill a fucking moose from over 700 yards away. You can't do that. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Because yep. your sniper doesn't shoot that far. The bullet drops at like 300 yards. You're hitting higher. They aim higher. You got bigger goals, you aim higher. Uh -huh. Yep. Because if you aim higher, you don't know when that bullet's going to drop. You could just hit it. And it will just run away. See me, I could aim directly at it. Cause I found a sniper that is good for 700, a little over 700 yards. Right. Or 720 yards, a little over that. Right. I did. And the only, the only thing that's different from, aside from that, from the sniper you use, is yours gets one extra bullet. Yours has a clip of six with 25 spare. Mine has a clip of six with 24. But well, you'll need that extra bullet because you can't shoot that far. Yeah, but well, that means I, I can't. also came to terms that the shotguns are garbage. Yeah, but that means like, that. You have to literally be so close up. The only thing they're good for, because it's just small oh. game, the only thing they're probably good for is turkey. Because turkey can't run from you that fast. No, but they can fly in the air. Yeah, only for a short time. Well, I do like the third map now, except for when you get the fog conditions and the lightning storm. Then mm -hmm. I but when it's not foggy and thundering out, it's mm -hmm. a pretty good map. So where are you headed to? Huh? So where are you headed off to right now? Me? Yeah. For, to go tell my old slash hopefully new boss that I filled out the app so she can go look for it and have them hire me and I can start working again. Why did you leave in the first place? I'm trying place? to finish my copy and my black mile. Why did you leave in the first place though? So? Why did I leave? Because 
there was two people working there. One of them was a manager, and the other one still works there. But she knows not to fuck with me now because I gave her peace of my mind the day I quit. And then I've gone in there countless times while I didn't work there and fuck with her so that she knows not to fuck with me. And the manager that I didn't like there is gone. And she wasn't even a manager, she was like an assistant supervisor. Mm -hmm. And she was scumbag. Like, she was sitting there telling me, I quit. Like, she was like, oh, you can't go off the smoke break, blah, blah, blah. You know everything you're doing right now is done. And you got some free time. You can't go across the street and smoke a cigarette real quick. And I was like, why can't I? I was like, the manager does it. Everybody else does it. I don't care what they do. You can't do it. I said, you realize that's discrimination, right? But you could lose your job for that. And, and she's like, well, I'm just telling you while I'm working, there's no smoke breaks. I was like, I don't care when you're working. I was like, you're an assistant supervisor. I was like, the manager, if I weren't asked the manager, the manager like, yeah, sure, go ahead. Oh, yeah, uh, like, so, but that's the so, person that got fired or what? I think or, that's why they got fired, because they started fucking around with other people while I, after I quit. But she's not the assistant manager. The assistant supervisor was the reason I quit. The fucking... She came in trying to boss me around, fucking talk to me like I was a dog. Mm. Like, if I tell you to come, you come. If I tell you to stand here, you stand here, blah, blah, blah. I was like, excuse you? I was like, I don't know who the fuck you think you are. I was like, you're just an associate. I've been working here longer than you. I've been here for like about a year. I've been here for two and a half years. And then before that, I worked in the same company in a different store for another two years. Mm -hmm. Like, you just started working here for, like, maybe a year, if that. Like, I don't know who the fuck you think you're talking to. You better go back to your little easy scan register over there and sit your ass down. And then she was doing, like, talking mad crazy shit to me, even in front of a customer. The customer was like, you can't really talk it in that way, miss. Like, you can, or he's like, I could put a complaint to your corporation about you. I was like, oh, shit. I didn't even know the customer. I was just being nice to the customer, helping them out, and then she came out fucking all crazy and shit. I don't know if she had a bad day or what, but she was like that all the time. And then every day I go in there now, they're like, oh, you coming back? I was like, not if I have to put up with that bitch. And they're like, oh, no, no, she's changed, she's changed. She's been told quite a few times, and now she minds her own business more, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I was like, damn straight. I was like, so if I start working here again, she came at me. I was like, I wouldn't hesitate to fucking flip out on her again. And this time I won't quit. I'll just fucking flip out on her. And then the next day I'll come in the manager be like, yo, you need to keep her away from me, put her on separate shifts from me or some shit, because she's starting crap. I ain't dealing with it. Well, honestly, you should have done it to begin with instead of just walking out. Well, the people that, the managers that were there at that time, they didn't really want to do nothing. Like, you could literally fight somebody at work, and they won't do shit. You know, I should put right down the Oh, wow. Like, they had... What is it? They had workers sitting right outside the store, smoking weed, on premises, full on the clock, and they didn't get fired, they just got talking to. That's all they would ever do, is just give you a talk. They would never yeah. fire you. Like, hey, you gonna share, bro? <laughs> like, my, the job that I'm talking about, they don't even fucking drug test you. Why? Because if they did, everybody in that store would fail and be fired. Managers mm -hmm. included. Everyone there smokes weed. I was they like, are you it. kidding me? They even hired, uh, fucking, was it? They hired convicts, convicted felons. They don't care. They'll fucking hire anybody. <laughs> they even hired, uh, what was it? I think... Two years ago, they hired a sex offender, which they're not supposed to, and he was working over in the deli area. I was like, this dude's not supposed to be here. I was like, a sex offender can't be working in a place that's a family place and has children coming here. I was like, certified sex offenders cannot be working in places that children under the age of 18 or 19, one of the two, come to. So they're not allowed to be under around any underage people. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh well, as long as you don't do anything, it should be fine. I'm like, no, it's not. 
I'm like, whatever. Like, he better just stay away from me. Yeah, Rick, he totally looked like a child. Yeah. No, not that. It's just because fucking, I don't approve of people like that. And yet you invited him to your house. When did I do that? Like, yesterday? And the day before? No. You're like, you're like, please come in my door. <laughs> Maybe uh, you like sex offenders, but I don't. Yeah, yeah. I remember your mom told me. She was like, yeah, yeah I can't help my son from what he likes. It's just who he is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, right. That's why they hired you in the first place. First off, I was hired there well before that dude even got hired there. <laughs> then he got fired for, uh... I forget what the fuck he got fired for, bro. Some stupid shit he got fired for. Oh. Uh. Then, they to replace him, they hired, like, a... Uh, yeah, prison... Uh, dude that was in prison. And like a fucking like heavy felon. So they changed the sex offender for a person in prison. But murder, like he he said he went there for, like he was in prison for like armed robbery and this that and the third. And then he got fired because he yelled at a bunch of people. Wow. Yeah. I was like, well, what do you guys expect? You're hiring all these weirdos and like thug criminal people. Of course they're gonna snap and say some shit, then you have to fire him. I was like, what's the purpose of hiring him in the first place? I mean, yeah, I, I get it. Like, everyone gives an equal chance and whatever. I was like, not if they're not completely rehabilitated. If they're still all fucked up in the head, you're just asking for lawsuits. Yep. <laughs> Like, it makes no sense, but, like, I mean, I'm, obviously I'm probably going to be going back there to work again, but their hiring shit is all sorts of fucked up. Yeah. Well, there goes my coffee. It tastes like shit and chalk, but... Never drink coffee without sugar. It tastes like ass and chalk. I drink coffee without sugar. You probably drink espressos from fucking Starbucks. I don't know. You don't drink actual coffee that you make in a coffee pot. Yeah, I do. Pour in there and then throw creamer in there. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Liar. Just yesterday, oh, I don't drink coffee. It's disgusting. It is Liar. disgusting. If I really drink it. Uh-huh. But anyway. I'm gonna get going. I'll be going for about an hour. Bye. If you're still on when I get back, I'll help you catch Megalodon. Well, that's if I'm still on. We'll see. That's what I said, you blowhole. Maybe. Gosh. Maybe. <laughs> that's nasty. Aftertaste of coffee that has nothing in it but a tiny bit of cream. Well, good luck. I'm trying to get your job back. No, I don't need luck. I just need the manager to be there. What? I'll uh -huh. see. Well, Jimmy will probably be gone, gone. So, I'll see Snarf in about an hour. Uh -huh. We killed the Blackbeard. Ours. Not Blackbeard. He was so innocent. He did nothing wrong. What did he do? What was his crime? Pillaging, murder, rape. Pillaging, murder, thievery. rape, 
And thievery. That sounds like an everyday thing that a person would do. <laughs> everyday thing a person. Damn. Who you been hanging out with? <laughs> People at Winko. People at Winko's. Mm hmm. Eh, actually, it's just everywhere. <laughs> About time I got a big one. Yeah, it took forever. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. dun. Right in the back. Oh, you come in, Jimmy. I'm a loving, man. I'm a loving, fun guy. Loving, Lies. fun guy. Lies. Now you just sound like your Tinder profile. So now you just sound like your Tinder profile. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about, man.
What are you doing, Jim Bob? Assassin's Creed multiplayer. 
killing oh. other players. Oh, that's what I like about that game. That's the only time I ever played Assassin's Creed is multiplayer. To be honest. Um, so I'm just hunting people now. Oh, okay. Is it easier for you to hunt people, or is it harder? Huh? Is it easy for you to hunt people, or is it harder? Easy. Because don't they camouflage well, in with the civilians? Huh? Don't they camouflage in with the, with the, uh... Civilians? Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes you can tell who's who. I love it when they get the wrong person and they accidentally get the civilian right next to you. That's <laughs> so funny. Saw that crap coming. These people always traveling in twos. Smarter way to do it though. Instead of going off on your own. It's not that, it's just uh, they have like high level people on their teams. I have uh, low levels. So they know how to work together. My team does not. Mm.
Yeah, I can't beat these, um... Legend people. Not legend, prestige. I'm out of this game too. Some of the prestige people.
What's up, Jimmy? I'm stretching. Oh, the fuck. <laughs> that felt really good. Cracked my back. Damn, it's already one o'clock. Crazy. Ah! <laughs> he pulled me off the roof. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, yeah, now it's my turn to hunt. <laughs> oh, you didn't get a hunt before, or what? I think well, I've you been a hunter before. No, I said you, you didn't get a hunt before? Like, um, your reward, oh, your you civilian, or what? You either, what you do is, in this one, you either take, you take turns between being hunter or the hunted. Oh. That's not a fucking... He went up the fucking... What? That's not allowed. I thought they patched it. So much for patching. Hopefully they patch the game to where the fish can't go up the mountains anymore. Not according to what's happening now. Some horse shit. Oh, that is some BS.
<laughs> She's trying to get away, but I still killed her. <laughs> Oh man, they still need to work on this game. One patch wasn't enough. I mean, obviously, but... Oh my god, this fish is still on the land. This is ridiculous. How are you able to swim through land? They tapped it. How? How are you swimming through land? How? This is so stupid! Oh my god, these fucking devs, man. Yeah, good job on patching the game. That did a real fucking good job. Fucking shit, dude. I lost them. Go into the fucking mountains. 